So we're back in Grounded, doing something a little bit stranger. We're actually reaching the top of the house. Well, we're kind of already there. We're on the roof of it. So if you didn't know, uh, Grounded actually doesn't have like boundaries in regards to the height you can get to. And I hope it's not kind of weird, the angle that I'm kind of showing here. I'm just kind of getting to a bit of an awkward spot near the top of the house, trying to get up a little bit higher. I thought it'd just be neat, but as you can see down there, and through my really insane sort of roof bridge that I've built, uh, you can get all the way up here. Now I do have something to show off uh, after we're done playing around at the top of the roof too, which is kind of cool. I actually built like a really neat little house design, and uh, I want to share that too, but I just thought, hey, let's kind of show off building up like really high, just as, I don't know, something a little bit sillier and weird to do, just with the fun, like, building mechanics this game has. Like, it gets super blurry due to, like, the, the effects of the background, which, again, is, like, a cool artistic style of this game that I really love is the, uh, the blur effect. I think it looks absolutely lovely. But, yeah, as you can see, we're at, like, the top of the house right now. I mean, we could go a little bit further, but I don't really see the point in doing that because there's nothing really else up here you know what i mean like we can keep going and it's just like what exactly are we gonna end up doing here i feel bad for anybody that's got like a, an intense fear of heights if they're they're watching this and got this i mean i have a fear of heights but games i really don't care it's it's very interesting uh but yeah, you could just kind of like keep building really insanely up higher and higher and higher it's like high as you want to go it's kind of awesome i guess you could say because i think even like minecraft kind of like blocks you off at a certain point and they're like whoa you've gotten too high and it's kind of like do i keep going do i end it i don't know it's just kind of nuts right like look how high up we are like that's kind of i don't know a little bit insane there's nothing really up further <gasps> oh down we go like isn't that nuts though like reaching that high you get to the top of the house and I, I mean I don't really see a point in doing that but it's it's just absolutely nuts that you can build something to that kind of crazy degree and you can jump down and reach like an insane sort of spot where things are a little bit more kind of wild but I do want to get to the uh, other area I wanted to show off just so I can kind of be like hey take a look at this but it's it's just absolutely nuts seeing the structuring of that isn't it and it's like you can build all the way up like I could build like a house like up on top of the house for no reason just absolutely like kind of wild that you can do that sort of thing in this game it just kind of shows off the creativity and I thought it might be fun to kind of do something where I'm showing off a little bit of the crazier uh, sort of things you can do with the building just for fun. I mean, I don't think you could ever in like survival maybe get like the resources to do that kind of thing. I, I mean, maybe the leaves and stuff waited long enough, it would take a while. And then the second thing I wanted to show off, which we're kind of getting closer to, is something that is over there, over near the giant cool tree. But yeah, it's just, it's kind of been like a really fun game. I don't know, I hope that was kind of like a weird sort of thing, or maybe it was just kind of like a random aspect, or maybe you learned, hey, you can build wildly in this game and really do whatever you want in terms of the, the creative elements. Assuming you have the items and you're not, you know, you're in survival being able to accomplish that. Obviously this is a creative mode because otherwise, you know, how else would you pull that off? And it, it, it is a little bit touchy though, I actually had uh, all of the elements delete themselves one time when I was trying to get up there, so I was like, oh, okay. But as you can see, like, we can walk right back up, which would be kind of nuts if we want to go a little bit higher, I don't know. But I do want to show off this other little area, and we just gotta climb up here because this is my second build. I've marked it down on the map because I thought this was kind of neat. You can build on the water to a degree. So there's other pools of water, but this one kind of lets you get like fairly close to the surface of the water. Now, it, it definitely isn't like an original idea, this one. I saw somebody do like a cool pirate ship uh, online and I was like, that is so neat. And I'm like, well, let's take a look at the building on the water. 
and you'll see what you can do with the building of it. It's like, isn't that crazy? You can still, it's blurred, but you can still see the building structure there. I'm surprised it renders all that and the performance here is actually decent. But yeah, it's my little house on the water. It's got great views of the surrounding area. You know, you get some literally on the lake. It's like a boathouse. And you can go wild here too. You could build all kinds of like, I guess you could say like extensions to it, right? You can add to the roof. I don't think you can really go lower. Well, yeah, that's kind of just on the base floor here though. So this would be a nice little outside area. Kind of a fun little thing. But you're seeing that you can't really build down there. It's sort of locks you in oh oh we got a, a touchy piece interesting that's cool but it won't let you build it beside it see it, it's just kind of like really sort of touchy you could build like right on the water there though if you glitch it enough right you get it just working right that's kind of cool i wonder if i could build like a, a little bit of a, a ladder down there or something but yeah it, i just like really i wanted to give like a building idea that hey if you kind of build along the water you can get this going I don't know if you know if we can jump up on it there we go so you can actually build like right on the water a little bit too hmm. it's very hard to build it up though you can get like a middle ground here it looks like and if we get a the staircase working nah, I don't think there's gonna be enough room or even dimensions to kind of clip from on this one but it's neat right having this like sort of house on the water it'd be cool if they had something where you can like literally i don't know how you would describe it have like something where you could walk on the water like a glass would be cool see if you kind of just edge glitch it a little bit you can get something going on here that's that's really interesting because i was fiddling around with it and i couldn't get this earlier but i sort of got like a little bit of the the touchy spots on that one so you can actually maybe we can get a staircase going on here. No, it's not gonna want that, is it? Where we get a roof piece? Roof pieces seem to be like the nice little glitchy thing usually. Nope, not happening. Seems like just the flat design is gonna be where it's at, but still it's pretty cool, right? Like you could look right down into the water there and see where that is. You could probably build all the way across. Huh. It's just like a very... I don't know how to describe it. It's it's an interesting, you know, kind of creation. I wonder if we can actually jump up over doing that. And I, I think the idea was maybe that you would look at this and be like, hmm, I wonder what I could do on the water. Give you a little bit of a, a creative building idea. You know, if that makes sense. There we go. Oh, that didn't work out. It's just kind of a fun thing. So we went from the tippity top of the house to a little bit of the waterfront i, I mean it's it's a, it's a decent house start right i mean it's not like anything too crazy or cool looking but you could take this idea and build a wild house or like that person did that i mentioned you know build a cool pirate ship they had like even the crossbones and stuff they were using like uh the weapon stands in order to create that sort of thing so that was cool but yeah you can just create a really cool on the water kind of house and i think you could very well achieve this in you know survival i don't think that would be too hard to do right you know just kind of building up getting a lot of the grass i i don't think this would be too hard of a thing to accomplish but yeah i just thought it was kind of some cool little things you could check out and i hope you enjoyed like a little jump in on grounded you know showing off a little bit more of the building you got any ideas of things you want me to check out uh, if you're going even more wild, building on top of the baseball is really good. Because I don't think the bugs will be able to get you on, you know, if your house is on the water. Unless they had, like, weird water spiders or something. That would be terrifying. Could you imagine? Because there are those things, aren't there? They're, like, they kind of, like, glide across the water. It would be absolutely terrifying. But I think they could, <laughs> that would be so awesome. It's like, oh, you got a safe water house. And then they update it, and it's like, spider on the water. Oh, no. But, yeah, grounded. Pretty cool, right? Neat little heights and different visibility for the game. Such a lovely title. Looks so good.
there we go we've reached the top you see the outlines of the houses in the distance the backyard that is oh oh so small out there and then the tippy top of the house i mean i don't really see a point on going higher than this but it's definitely interesting that you can actually build up this high and again if you if you don't believe me that there's no max i mean i can keep building <laughs> It's really not a big deal, which is just kind of cool, and I mean, it's it's neat that they even took the time to, like, I don't know, allow you to do this? You think you just block it off and do, like, lower resolution buildings and stuff up here, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird that they would take the time to, uh, you know, like, build this all up and stuff like I know you, you see in the white marks where the map obviously ends and it's the the end of the world here but it's just kind of entertaining for sure I wonder if you can build right onto the roof and what amazes me even more is that the house actually has like these hit boxes so that you can't actually build stuff which is neat because that's what you were seeing I was getting in trouble with along the wall sorry it's so dark it's nighttime get to the top of this thing but I guess we could check uh actually build downwards and see if we can just walk along here right or we can fall and fall right through the building oh that's fun oh so it's actually like hmm I don't think I really have an option to move here I wish I had one of those like dropping things you know that lets you fall oh we're, we're still falling okay well it's a good time to well we can't craft that can we uh resources where is the thing I'm thinking of? The dandelion thing. Is it not here as a resource? Oh, we stopped moving. We're on the inside of the house. That's cool. This is a very fascinating build thing. Can we actually build in here? Nah, it doesn't look like we're allowed to build here. Maybe we need a foundation? Nope. That's really, really cool. I don't know. I, like, I keep finding all these like fun things about this game. I thought this was just a nice little extra show off, too, so you get a little bit more of the context here, what this provides. I think this is a solid thing. Yeah, that's a solid uh, thing. But yeah, enjoy your time in the backyard and grounded.